Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So the start of 2021 Brawl Stars Esports has just arrived and we have just wrapped up the first qualifiers. Now some of you might have known what happened because you guys follow me on Twitter or Twitch or something like that, but a lot of you do not. And so I'm going to be showing you guys some of the games that we have for you today. Now, I do play competitive on my mini account. This is my competitive account. I don't know why I have 115 trophies on my Piper. I probably should push this account. But that is not important. We are going to hop into the games. We're going to explain everything. So let's get into the first game and let's get into the video. So as we're getting into this game, I'm going to explain everything that you guys need to know about 2021 esports. Now, what happens is there are eight total qualifiers and eight total monthly finals. It happens one per month. There's going to be eight total for every single region. Every single region has X amount of spots. So I play in North America. North America has two spots for the world final. So the top two teams after eight months of qualifiers and finals are going to make it to the world finals. That's going to happen somewhere in the world. I don't know where it's going to be. So what happens today is we have the qualifier games. What the qualifier games de uh, decide is who goes to the finals. Now, we had nine rounds. As the rounds go on, the harder the opponents get. This is the eighth round where we had to go against IX Gaming, which is definitely one of the best teams in the world. Definitely one of the best teams in North America. Um, and we're going to go in a best of three. So what has to happen is there is three ma games per map. Unless you win the first two, it is the first one to win two games on the map. And you have to win two maps to win the entire match. So it is a best of three, best of three. Every single game has four bands. My team banned Sprout and Mr. P because those are just two very annoying brawlers that we don't want to go up against. The other team banned Piper and... Colonel Ruffs. I like to call him Lieutenant Ruffs because he seems more like a lieutenant to me. But anyways, that's not important. The first game is going to be on Snake Prairie. So we're chilling right now. We gave them a kill at the start of a game because of miscommunication. Then we got one a little bit into the game. Toonie's on that right side. He's going to be playing Rosa. My team this year, by the way, is myself, OG, Toonie, and Alec. You can only play three people per match. So unfortunately, Alec is going to be sitting out of this one. Ix is going to get a really strong lead. They're going to take a 9-5 to five lead. Toonie should have gone down over there, but he's able to wiggle his way out of it. We only have 15 seconds left to get a kill and to win the game. Now, we have to kill the Rosa or else we can't win because the Rosa has the blue star. Unless I think we can kill second best and Kang, but that's just not going to happen. No, never mind. We have to kill the Rosa. So I pull the Rosa. I get the kill on Kang, and we actually almost get it here. We were very, very close, but... In between the second and third mine, Crying Man is able to pop his Rosa Super, and he's going to be able to stay alive with one second left. We were so close to winning the game, but unfortunately, we are going to drop the first game. Now, we're going to hop into the second one. We're going to move more into play-by-play -play analysis, letting you guys know what's happening in my head, my team's head, the opponent's head while playing these games. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys game two. Hopping to the second game here, we're going to be running the same comp. Now, teams like to change up what comps they run. They always like to run different stuff every single game. But on this map, this is really the only meta you can have with three meta brawlers on this map being banned. Now, I suppose since Amber is in play and is a very strong brawler, we could have gone Amber. But we elected not to since we are very comfortable with these brawlers. So they're going to take a one to nothing lead. So what you do in Snake Prairie is you sit in a bow mine for 20 seconds and everyone charges their supers. And that is what we've decided to do. We didn't want to pop any vision because we knew that they were chilling there in their turret. I'm going to be able to hit a double pull over there and get a kill on Kangarmo. Second best has his pull and he knows where I am. So he's going to go for a pull on OG. Luckily though, OG is able to clip the wall, which means he's not going to get pulled into it. And we're going to have the two to one lead right now. Although they do have the blue star. Now second's caught in the middle right there. I have my super, so that's going to be a really easy kill. Toonie's also going really aggressive on that right side. Toonie is well known for just being an absolute god rosa and he's putting it to work right now he's going to get a kill on kang really nice play though from crying man over there he's going to be able to kill uh toonie and then i tried to use my tara super to get him away from me since i think i had four stars or i had three i'm not sure how many but if i stayed alive we would have still had the lead unfortunately not able to not that big of a deal though since i hit the super so i got a little bit of charge and i can just stand in the bow mine or sorry the bow totem so i can just charge my super with a ton of time left in the game so we are chilling at this point. Now, we, they have mines on the right, which means Toonie has to kind of get those mines away before he can push forward. I have three visions left, which is really important in Snake. The tar visions are such a hard carry in Snake since the entire map is grass. I have two left now, so we know exactly where they are. We're kind of just planning our attack, trying to go in at the same time, well-coordinated. 
Toonie is going to do his best to try and bait out Crying Man Super. He's going to do it, and then he's going to move forward and pop his super. I use my vision, so I'm able to see second best before he can see me. I'm able to get that kill. Toonie's going to be able to get two kills over there with the help of OG pinching. And me and OG are just going to run away. Toonie goes down, but that's fine. He was kind of just a distraction as he could die. It's just two of us couldn't die. He's going to go down, and we're going to take this game 14-12. to 12. So that was a really good game by us, a really good comeback game, as if they won that one. They would win the map and be up one to nothing in a best of three series, which is obviously a huge advantage. So let's hop into the third game, which is the tie breaking game on this map. And let's show you guys what happens. Hopping into our final game over here on Bounty. Again, we're going to be going with the same comps. Now we noticed that they did the same thing the first two games. They sent the Rosa to the middle to get the star. Second best would kind of lurk and Kangarmo would lurk. So we thought let's move up the right side while Crying Man gets the star and Tuni can get a really easy kill on second. And that's exactly what he's going to move forward and do. He's going to get a really easy kill. OG is going to put those bow mines down, which is going to explode some area. We might have been able to put them on the right or left side, which is really important on this map, which means you can lock down a side and not have to look there because you know they're going to be there because of the mines. Uh, he put them aggressive though, which is fine because he could charge them back, but they're going to sneak up on us and they're going to be able to get a kill. Um, so they're going to be, you know, just chilling in that totem. I know they're there, so I'm just going to rush forward, get a pull over there. Toonie's going to use his slow, which is going to slow second down. OG's going to be able to hit a really nice shot with bow. OG was the first 1k bow ever, which is something he has to say every time he plays bow. But he was the first 1k bow. And he's going to hit that shot, and he's going to be able to get us the lead. Now it's 5-4. to four. We see Kang because of the bow vision. That's going to be really easy for me to just solo pull. Don't know why he went up that high alone. Really easy kill. OG is going to get the star, which is actually really good because Bo is more of a passive brawler. You're used for vision and kind of just figuring stuff out while Tara and Rosa are the aggro. Again, Kang's just going to kind of run up the middle a little bit blind while I have my super. So I'm just going to get a really easy pull. Again, OG is going to be able to get the kill, which it's not planned that he gets the kill. We we're kind of both just spamming them, but it did work out that he gets it. Again, just like the last game, I try and make the Rosa get away from me by using my pull. I waste it again. And Toonie's going to go in with two stars, which he can do, which because if he died, we would still have the lead. And he's able to get a double kill, which was absolutely huge. This forces Kang Garmo to go up since Kang, uh, since Toonie was low and he was a high priority target. And we're going to be able to get a really easy kill on him as well. 10 seconds left. They have to get a team wipe and all of them not die in order to win. I have my pull and vision, so it's going to be really easily avoidable for us. We're going to get two kills here to end off the game. And we're going to take the first set 2-1 to one and win Snake Prairie. Now, the next map is going to be Brawl Ball Super Stadium. If we take this map, we get the W. And if we don't, then we're going to have to move on to the third map. So, it's pretty crucial that we get the win here because we don't want to go to the third map, obviously. So, let's hop into these games and let's show you guys what happened. So, with Amber being one of the best brawlers in the game, hands down, and it not being banned, we decided that we wanted to play Amber. They're going to go with a double tank Poco comp, which is a really good comp against Amber. Um, I actually think it's a hard counter to Amber, especially at the start of the game with the gadgets and all, you know, just the HP you have when we have zero supercharge. But luckily, we were able to kind of just push the ball up at the start of the game, make them waste a couple gadgets. And, you know, they're not too good when they're out of gadgets, but they're very strong when they have them. So we're just hoping that we can make them waste their gadgets. Toonie's going to give me speed over here. Same thing with OG to allow us to have position. I don't know exactly how many gadgets uh, King Garmo, the Poco, has used. I know second has used one or two. I'm going to be able to pick up a kill over there on second with the help of my teammates. And we're going to be able to gain some position over here. I'm going to throw the ball forward, I believe, or just throw it at Kang. Get a couple hits off of him just to gain my super. And back up and pop my gadget, which just gives me some HP. Now, second's going to move up over here and try and get me to push back. He's going to miss his swing, which is going to give me a little bit of position. Um, he's going to go more towards the mid. The Rose is going to come on my side. I'm going to be able to get a hit and then use my bubble to not let it regen. I'm going to go for another hit over here, which I'm going to be able to get. Unfortunately for me, I can swing at this Rosa as much as I want. But when it's in its shield and Kangarmo is healing it, I do nothing. It actually gains HP during that whole interaction. So there's nothing I can do over there. They're in a pretty good position now. Toonie, I don't know how he stays alive over here, to be honest. I'm going to be able to get a kill over there on second. If I didn't get that kill, I think they would have scored a goal, to be honest. Um, but Toonie's doing a really good job. He's able to come back, get Kang, and then get Crying. So 50 seconds left in the game or 55 about and it's still 0-0 but their gadgets are being wasted which is exactly what we want. When the game goes to overtime it's going to be a lot easier for us since we have the two most ranged brawlers on the map. They're tanks so it's going to be a little bit harder for them. Um, but things are going pretty well. Crying makes a really good play by not getting batted back by standing on the barrels. 
I make a good one as well as getting those bubbles to go back and forth, charging another bubble. So me and Crying kind of get a tie and no one really gains anything when I was kind of in a bad situation. Kang's going to get caught out, so we're going to be able to get an easy kill over there on him. I'm going to go down and really good play by OG over here just to clear the ball and then also hit both second and Cry Man so both of them can't regen. I think Crying could have scored over here if he popped his super and just ran forward. He elected not to go for it, which I probably would have because, again, going into overtime, it's not the greatest matchup for them. So it's something that they definitely should have tried to do before all the walls break and everything opens up. I'm not really in a great spot over here, so I'm just going to try and go for some form of play. There's no opening, so I didn't want to waste my super. Instead, I just go down. Toonie has speed, OG has super, so we're in a pretty good spot. It's not too big of a deal that I go down. OG and Toonie are doing a fantastic job of just keep keeping them tapped and everything. They call for a super pass, so I'm going to super pass that ball forward. Toonie's going to use his speed, pick up the ball, shoot the ball to the left, and that is going to be a one to nothing win for us. Really well played this game by OG and Toonie, just holding it down. I kind of get countered by this comp a little bit, so it was a really good job by them just to hold down the fort, not let them score, and just wait until overtime. So we're going to move into the next game. Let's keep on going, and let's show you guys what happened. So here we go into the next game. We're going to have Max, Amber, and BB again, since we like to play BB, or I should say I like to play BB. Uh, it's one of the more fun brawlers, one of the more game-changing brawlers, and then we have the Amber mid and the Max lane. So I'm going to get a really good position on them over there up there. On the left side, we're going to have some really nice position. We're going to be able to get a kill over there. Kang's a little bit low. OG's low, though, so we can't really, you know, do too much. Cryman's going to switch onto the Amber. Toonie and OG going to stay on the same brawler. Second going to go on Max, and they're going to have a Sandy this game. Now, unfortunately, I wouldn't say I get countered, but they have three ranged brawlers against my BB, which isn't really the most fun thing in the world. Not much I can do without max speed, and I'm kind of just charging supers this game. So my goal is kind of just to chill around Toonie, wait till he gets speed for myself to become useful, and then try and make a play. He's going to give me some speed. I'm going to go forward, knock Kang back, but unfortunately, second did have his speed, so there's nothing I could really do. OG's going down, so I have to just send a bubble and try and defend a little bit. Going to be able to get a couple hits over there. Uh, Crying's going to get the ball out of the corner. We're in a really bad spot. I'm going to go down. And both my teammates are going to go on the right side instead of the left, which is just a communication issue. Um, that's one that we have to be able to stop, but it's going to give them a one to nothing lead. So OG is doing a really good job at backing them up in the mid. Kang is kind of just wasting shots and seconds really focused on my side as well, because I can just run forward, pop my gadget and kill Kang whenever I want, like you guys are seeing right now. Um, so we're going to be able to get a kill over there. Really good, um, you know, just stuff happening by Toonie and OG just causing issues and I'm going to be able just to walk that one in. So it's going to be a one-to-one -one game. So if we score this goal, we defeat IX and we lock our place in the monthly final. But if they score, it's going to force a game three on Bravo. Now I'm just chilling here. Again, both of them are very focused on me. So I would assume something happens on the right side. Toonie gets his super, OG gets his super as well. So they are going in. Um, Kang's going to be able to get a kill on Toonie over there. I'm kind of forced to just take a swing because they kind of pinched me over there. OG's going to shoot his fire. fire. He's going to be able to hit Kang. Kang's going to just regen over there. Second's going to survive with one HP, which sucks. Um, but Toonie's going to go down over there. I'm kind of stuck because they all have more range than me. Crying's going to use his super. OG's almost dead. I'm almost dead. I'm going to go down. OG is one shot. All we have left is Toonie. Toonie's going to try and make a play. He's going to put the ball back in the corner. Really good job by him. But me being a BB in overtime against Max, Amber, and Sandy just is not very fun. There is basically nothing I can do. I'm just trying to stay alive here and hold off while my teammate um, comes back to life. But there's really nothing I can do. So they're going to put the ball in the net. They're going to win this game 2-1. And really good pick by them to switch to this comp. We probably should have switched, which is what I was saying earlier. The importance of switching is that you don't get countered. You don't get outplayed by comps. And that's exactly what happened. So well played on them. It's one to one in the brawl ball set. So if, again, if we win, we take the game. We win in maps to nothing. And if they win, we go to a third map. So let's hop into the final game and let's show you guys what happened. Okay, so hopping into the next game, I just noticed the lighting in my room has changed since the very start of the video. I'm recording this at 6.07. So the sun is going down. We're losing some natural lighting over here, which sucks. Um, but I guess you guys can see the power of the sun in this video. But anyways... I'm going to switch to Sandy. I have not played Sandy in a very, very long time. Um, this is definitely not a brawler. I play for my team. But the BB was getting countered. Their comp was really good. So we decided just to copy it. Why not? I'm able to win lane against Crying with the help of OG in a pinch. I'm going to pass the ball to OG because I'm going down. Unfortunately, OG was also going down. 
So we got close to a goal, but we aren't able to get it. Um, but really good job by OG just holding that middle. And, you know, we're both just doing a pretty good job at holding lane. Same thing with um, Tuni on that right side going up against a Max or Amber isn't easy, but Tuni was doing a good job. OG's able to kill Cryman over there. We're able to get a pinch over here on second. This should be a free goal, but I think Tuni didn't know where Kang was. Maybe he thought he was in front of the net. I'm not sure. Or maybe he didn't have shots. I don't know why we didn't score there, um, <laughs> but we didn't score, which is okay though. It's whatever. We almost scored. Should be one nothing for us right now, but it's not. Tuni's going to sneak on that left side. Um, he did step out of the bush for like one second or like half a second. So they knew where he was. So he wasn't able to get the kill. I fell asleep in a very bad place. I don't know when to use Sandy Gadget. I don't play Sandy at all. Um, this wasn't the most comfortable game for me to play, especially since the brawlers I'm going up against are Kang Sandy, which is really good. And then a Max and an Amber. But Tuni is doing a really good job on the top. OG is doing a really good job in the middle. And they're going to be able to pick up two kills while I'm kind of just healing in a bush. Um, we're going to try and go for a goal here, but we decide to play it patient. They're kind of caught in their spawn right now. OG has super. I'm almost at super. So we're in a really good spot. No reason to rush anything. Second best does have speed and he's going to give it to Kang, which is going to allow them to get out a little bit. Tuni also has speed, which he's going to give to myself and OG. I'm going to gain my super. I'm going to hit Kang a couple times, but unfortunately Tuni does go down to the Amber. I'm chilling over here. Sandy and Max are going to go for an aggressive play. I'm able to hit both of them, which is really good. Kind of backs them off. Crying and OG kind of going at it the left side. Good job by OG to kind of just chill and not let them do anything. But we're in a pretty bad spot. They have some oil on the ground from the Amber on that right side. They have a pretty aggro position. The ball is more on our side and their Max has super. So it's not looking too good for us. Um, OG is going to just throw his oil on the ball, which is a really good play. Kind of doesn't allow them to pick it up until he goes down unless they want to take away like half of their HP. Tuni has speed. He's going to give it to myself and OG. OG is going to flank to the right. Unfortunately, he's going to be hit by the fire and he's going to go down. He's going to throw his oil on the ball again for when he respawns. I'm going to get my super. Kang's going to get his and kill me with the speed. Tuni's going to be able to take out second best with really good shots. He's going to activate his speed. Kang goes down. Tries to pass it to Crying. Tuni's going to intercept it, run to their spawn, spin on them, and that is going to be the final game. And we're going to take the W against IX Gaming and lock our spot in the monthly final. So that was a really strong set against really strong players. We're able to 2 0 them, which is really good considering they're a very strong team. Now we do go into one more match against Affilion. Again, another really strong team. We end up beating them 2-1. So we finish alongside Tribe Gaming as the only two teams to be undefeated in the qualifiers. And we move on to the monthly finals, which is going to take place Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern. But that is going to be it for the qualifiers. That is going to be it for now. We are now tied in first in North America with Tribe. So really strong start by us. That's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want these competitive videos, let me know and I'll get them out because they are going to be coming in tons very soon. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Peace.